This is how you can generate such smudges in Blender. With this one free add-on, you can tip the creator or get the file for free. Open it up and explore the flexible node setup. Control mask size and intensity with precise sliders. Then play around with color and layering for perfect results. Also, you can group the nodes and drop them into any material. Now you have instant grungy and weathered textures. Enjoy! You already know you can press Control B to sharpen your edges. But here's how to do it in a non-destructive way. Simply press F3 and search Edge Crease. Then simply put the value as you're liking, and you will sharpen your object without changing the topology. How to create this tire print effect in Blender. Add plane and subdivide it. More subdivision creates more realistic results. Now import a tire 3D model and animate it using empty object. Keep in mind that tire must be intersecting the plane. Select Plane and select Dynamic Paint in Physics tab. Add Canvas and set the values as shown. Select Tire and select Dynamic Paint again in Physics tab, but now select Brush. Play the animation to see the result. Shade smooth the mesh to make it smoother. Now we will add some more subdivisions to add some extra details. Press Play, you can see the tire looks more accurate than before. Now add some other tires. Now add textures on the plane. Also add displacement texture to make it more detailed. Now add textures on the tire also. Render it. So there is an easy way how to transfer data from modifiers and materials from one object to another. You simply select all objects that you want the data to be transferred to. Then with control click, you select the object with the data that you want to transfer. Now press control L and you will see different data types that you want to transfer from the active object. Follow me and if you want to check out my procedural material library, comment back and I will send it to you. Let's make this Ferris wheel animation blender. We have quickly modeled the base plane, support tower, drive mechanism, hub and finally the wheel structure which we are going to animate along with the cabin that follows the wheel's rotation. Let's start animating. Select the wheel structure, go to the timeline and on frame 1 press K and select rotation to add a keyframe. Now go to the last frame, press R, type 360 to rotate the wheel by 360 degrees. Then press K again and select rotation to add another keyframe. Click on play it to check if animation works. Next select the Ferris cabin. Shift select the wheel structure, press Ctrl P and parent the cabin to the wheel. Hit play again. As you can see, the cabin rotates with the wheel structure, but not as expected. To fix that, select the Ferris cabin, go to the constant tab, add a limit rotation constraint and enable X, Y and Z axis. Press play once more to see the character animation. It's working perfect now. Finally, select the Ferris cabin, duplicate it multiple times and place each copy evenly around the wheel to complete the Ferris wheel. And that's it. Your Ferris wheel animation is ready. Hit spacebar and enjoy the result. Follow Art OV for more. If you're still adjusting lights one by one like this, stop right now. Instead, use this quick trick. Select your lights, press Shift plus T, and click to aim them at a single point. Easy and fast. If need more control, use the Track 2 constraint. Select a light, open the Constraints tab, and add Track 2. Set a target object. Then select all lights, go to the Object menu, and choose Constraints. Copy constraints to selected objects. Now all lights will stay aimed at the target, even if it moves. Lighting made easy. Follow for more Blender tips. It turns out it's pretty simple to create realistic cables in Blender by applying a cloth simulation to a mesh line and using geometry nodes to turn that into more cable-like meshes. The beauty of this combo is that you can hook the ends of the mesh line to different objects for real-time simulation, which makes animating a lot easier. And with a few geometry nodes, quickly customize the look of the model and materials. I've used a version of this technique to create a cable generator, which I've shared on the Discord server for anyone to use, examine, and improve on. This is how you can generate such industrial structures in Blender. With this one free add-on, you can tip the creator or get the file for free. Now just open the file. With a flexible node setup, you can extrude the faces and build the desired shape without any restrictions. Then unwrap the mesh with cube projection to fix the texture stretching. Additionally, explore a range of options for more control. You can set the cross beam density, lights, and pipe radius for custom effects. Enjoy! How to create this landscape in Blender. Add plane and subdivide it. Now add some displacement to plane by using displacement modifier and cloud texture. Import the foliage assets in your scene. Watch till end to get the free foliage assets. Add every assets in different different collections.
Now add particle system on the plane and follow the instructions as shown. Add different different particle system for every asset. Add your subject in the scene, add a HDRI for lighting, and also add glare in compositing tab. You can generate a ton of books in Blender with one free add-on. First of all, download BookGen add-on from GitHub, then open Preferences and activate it. Open this menu from the sidebar section. To add a shelf, you can just simply click and drag on any surface. Also, you can generate a stack of books. Select the spot, define the direction, and drag the mouse up to define the height. You can also freely adjust the proportions, such as book height, depth, and width. This add-on also lets you adjust random stack rotation and shelf alignment. Finally, you can apply any custom material to your books and render the final result. Enjoy. How do you model this? Rotate this cylinder 90 degrees and scale down the other one but exclude the Z axis by pressing Shift Z. Add edge loops and snap them to the vertices of the second cylinder by holding Ctrl. And do the same thing with the second one. Select both and press Ctrl J to join them together. And then select these faces and press Ctrl E, bridge edge loops. Add supporting edge here and two edge loops in between. Adding supporting edge here as well. Select these two faces, do inset, bridge edge loops, and evenly distribute the edges. Do the same thing to the other side and add the subdivision surface. Now, you tell me. Today's video is brought to you by BlenderKit the ultimate tool to take your 3D creations to the next level. Whether you're a professional artist or just getting started, BlenderKit provides you access to over 71,000 high-quality 3D assets, including models, material shapes, brushes, and even full scenes. The best part, over 53% of the library is completely free, with everything licensed for both commercial and non-commercial use, meaning you can use them in your own projects and monetized work. For those who want to elevate their workflow even more, the full plan gives you unlimited access to the premium library while also helping support open source projects like Blender itself. Join the thriving BlenderKit community today. Check out the link in the description and start creating stunning 3D artworks with ease.